What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the population density formula, all right? So we're gonna go over three quick examples because there's three parts of this equation that we could solve for. We can solve for either the population density, the population itself, or the area. All right, so let's start with this first problem right here, 1A. So this just says about 430,000 people live in a five mile radius of a city's town hall. Find the population density in people per square mile. All right, so for this first problem, we wanna find the population density. So that means the problem basically gave us the, these two other pieces. It gave us the population, right, 430,000 people, and it gave us kind of the area, part of the area. It says a five mile radius, all right? So let's solve for the population density over here. So the PD, I'm gonna call it, is equal to the population, which again is equal to 430,000 in this case, divided by the area, and the area it tells us is a five mile radius, all right? Well, if it's telling us it's a radius, that means the area is a circle, right? So we could draw a circle with a five, right, five mile radius, all right? So what is the area of this circle? Well, the area of any circle is equal to pi r squared. So the area is gonna be equal to pi times the radius in this case, again, is five. So we're gonna have five squared. Now five squared is equal to 25. So 25 times pi is equal to 25 pi. And if you plug that into your calculator, you'll get that this is approximately 78.54 and what are our units? Well, we're working with miles, right? And we have an area, so the units are miles squared, or in other words, square miles, right? So that's what we're gonna plug in for the area down here. So 78.54 miles squared, right? Now, if we divide these two numbers, that'll give us the population density. So if you plug this into your calculator, you'll get that this is equal to approximately, and I'm just rounding to the nearest whole number here, 5475. And the units for population density are people per square mile, right? Those are our units right here. So people per square mile. All right, so that's how you solve for the population density. Now let's do the second example where we're gonna have to solve for a different part of this formula. All right, so the second problem says a region with a three mile radius has a population density of about 6,195 people per square mile. Find the number of people who live in the region. So this time we want to find the number of people, right? We wanna find the population. So the pop is what we're gonna be solving for. So that means it gave us these other two pieces of information, right? So let's plug those in. So first of all, it says a region with a three mile radius. So again, it's talking about radius. So that means we have a circle with a radius of three miles. So again, to find the area of this region, we can use the area, area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, so it's equal to pi times, this time, 3 squared, which is equal to pi times 9, which is approximately 28.27, and again, our units are going to be miles squared, all right? So that's the area. So we're going to plug that down here. And what else did it tell us? It says uh, this area has a population density of about 6,195, all right? So that's what we're gonna plug in for the population density, 6195. So here we're gonna get that 6195 is equal to the population over the area, which again is 28.27. So to solve for the population, we can get rid of this denominator, right, by multiplying both sides by 28.27, right, times 28.27 and decide they cancel out. So here we get that the population is equal to approximately, and if we multiply these together, again, just rounding to the nearest whole number, 175159, all right? So that's the population 
of this region, all right? So now let's do one last example. All right, so this last problem says about 79,000 people live in a circular region with a population density of about 513 people per square mile. Find the radius of the region. Okay, so this problem is giving us the population, the population density, and we have to find the area. Okay, so let's plug in what we know. So the population density is 513, and that's equal to the population, which is 79,000 over the area, right, which we don't know. That's what we have to find. Okay, so to solve for A here, we can get it first out of the denominator, and we can do that by multiplying both sides by A. All right, so then on this side, the A's cancel out. So over here, we get A times 513 is equal to 79,000. And then to solve for A, we can get rid of this 513 by dividing both sides by 513, right? Those cancel out. So here we get that the area is equal to 79,000 divided by 513, which is equal to approximately 154. And remember, our problem says we're working in square miles or miles. So we know the area is 154 miles squared, okay? Now, we're not only looking for the area, but more specifically, we're looking for the radius of this area, right? Because remember, it tells us that the area is a circular region, okay? So we have this circular region. The area of this circular region is 154 miles squared. So how can we find the radius of this circular region? Well, we can again use the area of a circle, right? So the area of a circle is equal to pi times the radius squared. So this time we already know what the area is. It's 154. So we can plug that in for the area right here. So we're gonna get 154 is equal to pi, and we don't know the radius, right? So we're gonna say times the radius squared. Okay, so we're trying to solve for r, so we're trying to isolate it, right? So the next thing we can do is get rid of this pi, so we can divide both sides by pi. On this side, they cancel out. Uh, 154 divided by pi, that's equal to approximately 49.02. So we're saying that this is equal to this side, which all we have left is r squared. Now to solve for r, we need to get rid of this exponent, and we can do that by taking the square root. And what we do to one side, we do to the other, right? So we'll take the square root of this side also. And then on this side, the square root, or the radical, and the exponent cancel out, so we're left with r is equal to the square root of 49.02, which is equal to approximately seven, okay? And don't forget your units, we're working with miles, right? So the radius of the circular region is equal to seven miles, boom. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.